what is going on i hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can connect shopify to squarespace so let's get right into it now while you can't directly connect them in several ways there are some certain methods which you can use to connect those two some of which are forwarding or pointing your shopify or squarespace url to the other site you can also import products from shopify or you can connect them via custom code which allows your users to click on buttons or on products on your Shopify page or your Squarespace page and then point them over to Shopify. You can do the same backwards as well. You can make a custom code to point from Shopify to Squarespace. And I'll be showing you some of these methods right now. Now, one of the first methods is importing your products from Shopify. What you need to do first is go over into Shopify and export your products as a CSV file, uh, which you will then import into your Squarespace site. To do this, you need to go into products and services, go to products, then go over into the top right, click on import, choose Shopify, and then you click on upload Shopify CSV, and then you upload the file that you've downloaded from Shopify. Now that is method number one. Method number two is to actually edit the pages. So let me go ahead and go to another page. For example, I'll go to the about page, just as an example. Uh, you could go to the home page, go wherever you want. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. But once you're here on this page, you're going to need to edit it and you're going to need to embed some links. So if I go into edit, it will open up the full editing view. And then you can go ahead and scroll down just as soon as this loads. For some reason, it's glitching out. There we go. Uh, then you just want to add a new section, then you can add a blank section. And then here you can add a block. And as you can see, you can either embed code or just add HTML code. I would recommend embedding. Then you have the embed block, which you can double click to edit it further. You can add a link to any of your Shopify products, or you can use a code snippet to embed data via HTML code. Now that is the second method. And the third method I want to show you guys is to actually forward or link your pages or rather point your Squarespace domain to a Shopify uh, URL which you can do by modifying your DNS records. As you can see, you need to go into your DNS settings, then go to the Squarespace default section, and then you need to click the red trash can to delete your default records. Then you need to scroll down to custom records, add a record, and from the type dropdown menu, select C name in the host field, enter www data, just enter the URL from your provider, which in this case would be Squarespace, and then save it to complete the process. You can point the domains to Shopify domains or vice versa. You can also forward the domains so that the URL changes entirely. And this is useful since you can unite both services under Squarespace so that you can manage payments only on Squarespace, but you can keep, uh, Shopify as your shopping registrar. And that is basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.